a full employment system which brings to increasing the per capita income and national income of our country every commercial bank has to maintain the some amount of total deposit in the form of cash reserves black money is a funds earned on the black market scarcity which can create the demand and demand which can create the highest prices it is very difficult to measuring the national income and per capita income namaste my dear students shubha habba here faculty of commerce vidyashrama first grade college the temple of excellence mysore dear students a warm welcome to the session yes this is the session on monetary policy of india and which belongs to second unit yes in this session we are going to discuss about monetary system of our country who will control the credit system of bank and who will control who will decide the monetary system of our country yes rbi played a major role to controlling the monetary system bank credit volume of credit of all the commercial banks dear students in this session we are going to discuss about these are all the very important topic quite interesting these are all contents today we are going to discuss quite introduction and meaning of monetary policy and then what are the major objectives of monetary policy and what are the different instruments the qualitative instruments and quantitative instruments which have maintained by rbi reserve bank of india and next one black money that one of the relevant concept and the causes of black money and impact of black money and what are the different measures taken by the government for controlling the black money these are all different relevant and important concept we are going to discuss in this session quite introduction about the topic that monetary policy in india what do you mean by monetary policy that monetary policy refers to the policy of managing the total volume of credit in circulation in the country yes that every commercial banks financial institutions which provide the credit facility to the public and who will control the volume of credit rbi will control the volume of credit by different instruments furtherly we will discuss about what are the different instruments of monetary policy and it refers to the use of monetary instruments qualitative instruments and quantitative instruments under the control of rbi to regulate the magnitude such as interest rate that rate of interest on credit system and then money supply that controlling of money supply and then availability of credit with view to achieving the ultimate objectives price stability full employment conditions and these are all the important objectives which belongs to that monetary policy in india let us discuss what are the different objectives of monetary policy so one is price stability there is a common phenomena inflation or deflations that rising in the general price level in the economic system or that decreasing in the value of money and increasing the supply of money in the economic system that stated about inflations yes to control the inflation pressures control the inflation pressures or the control the deflation situations so this is considered as stability in the economic system and second one exchange rate stability yes which belongs to that foreign exchange the rate of foreign currency determined by rbi so which depends on that general price level of our country that always the dollar rate found rate will be increasing or sometime quite decreasing so the rate depends upon inflationary rate of our country by following the price stability in the economic system it tries to maintain the exchange rate system and the next one controlled expansion bank credit that every commercial banks should follow the rules and regulations which determined by rbi rbi controlled all the commercial banks and other financial institutions provisions of volume of credit also which have directed by rbi and next one control of business cycle so what is the business cycle it is like 
just economy go with the stagnation or full employment conditions or stability and crisis okay so just controlling the business cycle system this is done through this price stability and that monetary system controlling and the next one full employment so which is the major objectives of monetary policy that under the full employment in a sense that unemployment situation it is undesirable movement of every economic system yes that maintenance of full employment system which brings to increasing the per capita income and national income of our country so these are all the different objectives of monetary policy rbi always try to should remove the cyclical fluctuations in the monetary system under this objectives let us discuss about what are the different instruments of monetary policy that bank rate open market operations then cash reserve ratio statutory liquidity ratio and then repo rate and reverse repo rate and then credit ceiling regulations of consumer credit then margin requirements and moral suction the first one bank rate what do you mean by bank rate the bank rate is interest rate interest rate charged by rbi that is bank rate is interest rate charged by rbi for providing the loans to the commercial banks and other financial institutions and next one open market operations yes rbi played a very important role as a banker to the government it sell the securities sell and buy the securities securities of the government it sell and buy the securities of the government in open market so this is considered as open market operations when the government is in financial crisis conditions or rbi plays a major role rbi has power to sell or buy the government securities and also as well as if purchase the securities from the publics and which can create the flow of credit and next one cash reserve ratio crr every commercial banks has to maintain the some amount of total deposit in the form of cash reserves it is called cash reserve ratio and statutory liquidity ratio slr yes the all the commercial banks has to reserve some amount of total deposit in the form of liquid asset so this is called statutory liquidity ratio and repo rate and reverse repo rate repo rate the rate of interest charged by rbi for commercial banks so that is considered as repo rate and reverse repo rate which used by rbi to absorb the liquidity from the economy so that is considered as reverse repo rate and that credit ceiling which have instructions given by the rbi for providing the loans to the public by the commercial banks and next one that is regulations of consumer credit yes the determinations of volume of credit by all the commercial banks and then margin requirements so this margin requirements the loans are granted by all the commercial banks against the securities to the public and next one moral suction under the moral suction the techniques and different advices given by rbi to control the monetary system of the country according to moral session that all the methods and techniques different suggestions which given by the rbi to the commercial banks to control the monetary system of the country yes in these are all so bank rate open market operations cash reserve ratio statutory liquidity ratio repo ratio repo rate and reverse repo rate which are belongs to that quantitative measures and remaining that is credit ceiling and that is regulations of consumer credit and margin requirements and then moral session so these are all belongs to that qualitative measures so these are all which belongs to that quantitative 
measures. These are all instruments. So what is monetary policy which performing with their objectives, achievements of those are all objectives, it is considered as monetary policy just before we have discussed. Yes, so these are all different instruments of monetary policy. Next, another one important relevant topic that is black money. What do you mean by black money? And of course, that India facing a real problem in this contrary. What is black money? Black money which is tells about illegally collections of money. Is it? It may be in the form of cash or different assets. Yes, that black money is a funds earned on the black market and there is no any government authority to store that much of cash reserves. Is it? So that is funds earned on the black market which income and just escape from the other tax paid. So these are all different causes of black money, unrealistic tax laws and tax frauds who are escaped from the tax that remaining tax payment. So those are all considered as black money which is not able to considered or accounted by the government those money considered as black money and yes of course that control policy control policy in the sense there is no any proper policy to control the variations in price of different commodities inflationary pressure also which leads to increasing the black money next scarcity how it leads to black money scarcity of requirement goods if there is a very less amount of goods what i want i can pay more than i have to get that particular product who will pay more only those people can get the product and it leads to increasing the price level that scarcity which can create the demand and demand which can create the highest prices yes of course that price which is not determined by the government yes of course it leads to that stored the cash reserves yes. next one that inflations inflations which means increasing the general price level and how it is yes increasing the price of the commodity and that it led by the increasing in the demand for that commodity of course just increasing the price which is not determined by the government and it leads to that black money and next one election democratic system and political funding this is the real causes of black money in during the election time that expenses of different parties which can cross more than crores and where will it go it moving towards very few hand yes next one that privatization which particularly focus on profit motives these are all the different causes of black money in india at impact of black money after collecting the black money, what happened? How it is impact on that economic system of our country? Losses of revenue to the government. Escape from the taxations. Tax revenue, it is a revenue to the government. And if I escape from the tax, if I'm not going to contribute the tax, yes, which can create that accumulations of national income is less. And the next one, vicious circle as a result of black money and corruption. Black money which can create the black money situations. I have more money which is not accountable by the government. I can utilize anywhere, but it is not in a proper way or that it is not in a transparency. I have to get my work and I can give, but it's not in a white way. That black money Money which can create the black money situations and corruptions and next one effect on national income and real per capita income that national income how to distribute the national income for distributions of national income yes it distributed among all the people in a proper manner but here the matter of haves and have not that have nots also will get same quantities of distributions and how people also get same quantities of national income what happened and of course which can create the reduction in national income that's all the money flowing towards in a few hands next one that higher taxation and inflation pressures yes that higher rate of taxation which can create how to escape from the tax system always thinking about that and then inflationary pressure also considered as one of the one of the major causes of black black money and then difficulty in the formation of monetary and 
fiscal policy. It is really difficult to manage the monetary policy and fiscal policies. Impact of black money system, it is very difficult to measuring the national income and per capita income. Then how can the government will set the policy measures to improve the economic system? And next one, increasing the criminal activities in the society. We can observe that murder and bank robbery. So these are all that criminal activities just it is increasing in the economic system and it is by black money only. These are all the different impact of black money on Indian economy. And next important measures taken by the government to control the black money. Tax reforms have been initiated. The rate of tax has been reduced and next one demonetizations. Demonetization introduced in 2016 December according to demonetization that's all the notes and currencies just we have to submit to the government and different new notes in has been introduced. This is the best method to control the black money and increasing the cashless transactions. If there is a transactions with the cash which can create the situation about that moving the cash. The cash will be stored but cashless transactions on that online transactions which the government can maintain the accountability. Okay. So this is also one of the best measures to control the black money and then electoral reforms, reforms in that uh, election system and then another one black money bills. So these are all different uh, measures taken by the government to remove the black money problems of our country. And that Preventions of Corruption Act 1988, that Benami Transaction Prohibition Act 1988 and Lokpal and Lok Adalat Act. So these are all different acts which are introduced by the government to control the black money of our country. We have discussed monetary policy in India and who will control the monetary system of our country and what is the role of RBI in that controlling of monetary system and what are the different instruments of monetary policy just we have discussed and also we have discussed about black money in India and what are the impacts of black money, causes of black money and what are the different measures taken by the government. So these are all discussed in this session. Dear students, I hope you have understand the concept about monetary policy and black money in India. Dear students, this is the time to conclude the session. I would like to say thanks to you all for joining me in this session. Keep watching, read well. Thank you once again.